Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. A courageous act by a Wisconsin bus driver has been remembered. On the morning of December 22nd, Milwaukee County Transit System driver Arena Ivick was taken aback when she saw a young child running barefoot down a highway overpass. When a Milwaukee bus driver stopped to help an unexpected would-be passenger, a toddler, she went above and beyond the call of duty. According to Milwaukee County Transit System spokesperson Matt Slicker, Arena Ivick was driving on a freeway overpass when she noticed a barefoot toddler. The boy, dressed in a red onesie and a diaper, was hurrying to a crosswalk. I'm just thankful I was in the right place at the right time, Ivick said at a ceremony honoring her on Thursday. As seen in a video released by the transit system, Ivick stopped the bus and rushed out to pick up the toddler. She took the child onto the bus where stunned passengers gathered. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm trembling. As she sat in the driver's seat with the toddler, Ivick said in the video. A bus passenger removed her winter coat and wrapped it around the little girl who was shivering. According to the transit system, the temperature that day, December 22nd, was below zero. Ivick sat stroking the coat-swaddled child's hair while talking to her. As seen in the video, the little one soon fell asleep in her arms. The 19-month-old was cold and afraid but otherwise unharmed, according to police. The child went missing after authorities suspected her mother was having a mental health problem, according to a statement from the transit system. The baby was finally reunited with his dad, Slicker said. According to the statement, this is the ninth time a Milwaukee County transit system driver has identified a lost or missing child in recent years. I'm a huge fan of children. I used to be a teacher, and I have my own children, so I'm overjoyed that I was able to assist this small, helpless baby, Ivick remarked. In another heroic action of a bus driver in the same city, Milwaukee bus driver helps homeless passenger get a bite to eat and a place to sleep. After being caught on bus surveillance supporting a frequent commuter who had recently fallen on hard times, a Milwaukee public transit worker has been praised for being an example this Thanksgiving season. According to the Milwaukee County Transit System, Natalie Barnes was driving a public transit bus on a chilly October 13th evening when a familiar passenger named Richard boarded MCTS. He rode all the way to the end of the line, according to the transit agency, and then he and Barnes began chatting as she took a break. Richard informs Barnes on surveillance video taken from inside the bus that his home has been condemned and that he's now homeless. She then inquired as to whether the house he'd been staying in had already experienced a burn. Richard tells her, I've been out on the streets for a week. Barnes offers to pay for his meal. He refuses, but she asks if he would like to ride the bus with her to keep warm. He agrees, and a video shows Richard quietly riding in the back of the bus as Barnes covers her path with passengers arriving and departing. We speak every couple of days, and he expresses his gratitude to me for assisting him. He refers to me as his guardian angel. I'm pleased to report that he's making good progress. The two are seen getting back on the bus with what seemed to be food bags at one stage. Richard tells her later, I don't know what to say, but thank you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Barnes tells him, I want to support you. Barnes is later seen on her phone during another break. According to the transit agency, Barnes contacted a friend who assisted Richard in finding a temporary shelter. When the video resumes a few moments later, Barnes is back in the driver's seat, asking Richard if he needs anything from a store she wants to visit the next day. She tells him to let her know how he's doing as he leaves the bus. She says, keep me updated, as he nods. Please let me know what happens, even if it's tonight. She says, see you tomorrow. Barnes said she was motivated to support Richard because he was an elderly man and it was cold outside during an interview at a ceremony where she was recognized by the transit agency. Richard was seen by her at least once a month, she said. At the very least, he needed to find a warm place to stay for the night, she said. Barnes, who's worked for the transit system for two years, urged the city to lend a hand to the homeless. She said there were a lot of people searching in garbage cans for food in the area she covered as a public transit driver. She commented, they're underdressed, they're stranded with nowhere to go. They need assistance. To live, they should have essential needs such as food and clothes. Barnes said Richard had become a friend of hers after the six-hour bus ride and now has her telephone number. We talk every couple of days, and he thanks me for supporting him every time, Barnes said. 
He refers to me as his guardian angel. I'm pleased to report that he's making good progress. In a statement posted on the transit agency's website, County Executive Chris Abel said, Natalie's goodness, compassion, and respect for this man in need are what MCTS excellence is all about. Natalie exemplified what we all need to do to combat homelessness. Look out for one another, care for one another, and collaborate. Natalie's words have made a huge difference in my life. Barnes, a mother of two, was also noted for carrying extra sandwiches to her shifts, according to the transit system. According to the transit agency, this was her third commendation for exceptional service. Richard has also sought permanent housing by Community Advocates, a local organization. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.